Hey my brothers, hope everyone's doing awesome today. Now I'm going to be telling you about something that I think will give you a different perspective on what it really means to be a man. And this is something that I've learned throughout my life and I've had to learn kind of the hard way. Um, and even though I'm only 21, it's definitely a very valuable lesson. And I know it's going to do me good in the future and it'll do you good too. And then I'm going to be doing 50 push-ups, rows, and squats. Not rows, I was earlier. 50 push-ups, sit-ups, and squats. And um, that'll be it. So let's do this. Now, one great quality, the best quality that I've learned of being a real man, of course there's qualities like confidence and like motivation and discipline and a good mindset. There's all these great qualities of being a man, right? And of course, I would gladly go over this in a video and I believe I have like gone over it in previous videos, but um, I don't remember ever doing like a whole video on it. So I would definitely do a whole video on it. But the greatest quality of being a man is being your own man. You gotta ask yourself, what kind of man do you want to be? What kind of man do you want to grow up to be? What kind? What is? Your, what do you want your future to look like? How do you want to act and talk? And what kind of what kind of job do you want to be working? How do you want to be making income? Um, what kind of lessons do you want to be spreading on to other people? What kind of friends do you want to have around? What kind of wife do you want to have? What kind of relationships do you want to form? Every quality of your life and every aspect of your life, you got to ask yourself, what is it that you want? What is it that you are meant to go get? What is it that you're here for? Are you here to be the kind of man that takes care of a family? Or are you the kind of man that is here to make a lot of money and maybe donate to charities and help other people out? Are you the kind of man that's here to be a mentor and a teacher to other people? And you know, this doesn't just have to apply for, like if you, if you say, I want to be this kind of man, start being that kind of man today, yes. But realize that there are different seasons of your life. And there's, during these different seasons, there's going to be a lot of changes, right? And so in one season of your life, you might be like a great mentor to people, a great teacher. The next season of your life, you might have to learn a lot. You, you might be like the, the trainee kind of thing, right? Like you might be the one that's learning a lot versus being the mentor to someone. And then another season of your life, you might be a mentor again, right? One season of your life, you might be single and focusing on like, what is it that you wanna do? What is it that you're trying to work toward? What kind of goals and dreams are you working toward? Another season of your life, you might be dating someone. And then the next season, you're married to them. The next season, you're raising a family with them. And so realize that life does come in like different changes and different seasons. But overall, when the change does come, you just got to adapt to it. You got to adapt to it and don't lose focus of who you are and who you're meant to be because I'll tell you what, a lot of the changes in life, man, they, they can bring a lot of pressure on you and they can, they can make you angry, they can make you really down, they can make you really anxious and when you start to feel like those emotions constantly each and every day during the season of your life, it's easier for you to become that kind of person, right? Like a more anxious person, a more down person, a more... Um, angry person it's hard not to let the emotions get to you especially during certain seasons of your life of course but you got to stay focused bro it's all right to be angry it's all right to be down it's all right to be anxious but it's not all right to make that into who you are like I don't think I've ever heard anyone say I want to be an angry person the rest of my life I want to be anxious the rest of my life I want to be down and sad the rest of my life, right? And so if there are certain seasons of your life or certain changes or certain areas of your life, certain aspects, certain parts of the environment, whatever it may be, that's beating you down mentally and emotionally and it's making you more of an angry person or more of a down person or more of a, I should say sad, more of a sad person, more of an anxious person, you gotta, you gotta look at what's going on in your life and say, how can I fix this? How can I change this and how can I fix it? And then get to work on it. And of course, if you don't know how to, that's all right because you know what? 
we, we don't have the answers to everything. We don't know everything. But I can tell you is that there's ways out there to fix whatever's going on in your life. And you just got to find people who are dealing with similar problems or have dealt with similar problems and then take advice from them on how they fixed it. If, of course, they fixed it. But if they haven't, then you can like work together with them, right? And you can like work with them and, and you guys can like help fix your lives together because it, it's actually a beautiful thing and it forms great friendships in the end. But bottom line is that when you are deciding on the kind of man that you want to become, what kind of man do you want to be? You gotta, um, you gotta weather the storms, weather the, weather the storms, and don't let the pressure and the changes and the hard times in life, don't don't let those form you into a different kind of man, right? Again, it's all right to be angry or sad or anxious. It's all right to have hard times. It's all right to go through hard times. It's all right if you cry. It's all right if. Um, you're just really confused and you don't know what to do. But don't let those hard times and changes and pressure of life, don't let it form you into a different kind of man, right? If it's starting to, if it's starting to affect you so much in your life to where it is forming you into a different kind of man, then ask yourself, what do I need to change? And then, or what do I need to fix? And then get to work on doing that. Learn how to do it and then do it, right? But again, it's up to you to decide what kind of man you want to become. And a lot of people, you're going to hear a lot of influence from the outside world. You're going to hear a lot of influence, even like if you're watching my video right now, my goal isn't to influence you to become like this kind of man or this kind of man. Of course, I want you to be strong and confident and masculine because in the end, those things, like they really make your life better, especially being a man, right? There are certain qualities of life that, there are certain qualities that every man should have, but I'm not telling you like, you should, be, you should be a plumber, you should be a teacher, you should be a country kind of man, you should be a city, a city man, right? Like, I'm not telling you exactly what kind of man you should be. I'm telling you, like, what qualities are good for a man and what quality is going to make you a better man. But I'm not going to sit here and tell you, you need to be this kind of man or you need to be this kind of man. Like, that's up for you to decide, man. That's up for you to get your creative mind to work. And that's up for you to search and explore and spend some time in your life thinking about what kind of man do I want to be? Do I want to be a family man? Or do I want to be a, a lone wolf kind of guy? But if you are going to be a lone wolf, then I would definitely suggest like, at least like helping other people out in any way, shape or form, you know, because life isn't just about you. And at the end of your day, you're going to regret not helping other people out, if anything, right? Um, but are you, are you going to be a family man, a lone wolf? Um, are you going to be a plumber? Are you going to be a teacher? Are you going to be a business owner? Um, are you going to be a man who's like like a bodybuilder or are you just going to be someone who's trying to just put on muscle like it's all for you to decide bro I can sit here and tell you good qualities that every man should have and I will I definitely do plan to make a video on that however I'm not going to tell you what kind of man that you need to be and you'll hear a lot of business owners especially like a lot of people who are like entrepreneurs saying like you, sh you should you need to own this business like you need to own this business like if you if you're going to do something in your life you need to do this you don't have to listen to them. If business owning, if owning a business, it really isn't for you. It's really not the path that you're here to take. Then you don't gotta listen to them. You're gonna hear people like, like if you go into college and um, you want to be a teacher, you're gonna hear a lot of influence from people saying you, you need to be a teacher. Like you have to be a teacher. Teachers are needed, so you have to be one. You don't have to listen to them, bro. Uh, one of the greatest parts of being your own independent person is you don't gotta listen to anyone. You don't even have to listen to me. You get to choose and decide who you're going to listen to and who's going to influence you in your life. But I'm going to tell you what. If you start listening to people who either you do it their way or the highway, either you do it their way, otherwise I don't want to be friends with you and screw you and go screw yourself, don't be around those kinds of people. Those are not the kind of people you want to be around because in the end, they're either going to drag you into a place that you might not want to be or are not meant to be or they're just going to tell you just to F off and try to just bring negativity upon you. The point is, is you're going to get a lot of influence from the outside world. There's going to be good influences and there's going to be bad influences. Bad influences are people who you either be just like them or you go screw off. Those are bad influences. People that sit, you got to do whatever they say and you got to be just like them and you got to live their kind of life. And you can't even be your own person. And if you are your own person, then they're going to tell you to screw off. Those are bad influences. Or people that are just making you do things 
um, that you just don't want to do or that are you're not meant to do. They're making you do things whether they're sitting there saying like you better do this or whether they're manipulating you, right? Those are the bad kind of influences. The good kind of influences are people that you can work together with to better yourself and and of course their self, right? You can work together with and go after your goals and dreams with and work toward goals and dreams even if they're different. Even if you guys have totally different goals and dreams, you guys still see each other and are there to help each other and support each other and you guys accept each other's goals and dreams and you just want to make each other better, right? But you guys, at the end of the day, you still accept, you guys still accept what kind of person you each are. Like you accept who they are and they accept who you are at the end of the day. And then you guys work together to become better and stronger and greater. Those are good influences. And, and you'll notice that people that are bad influences tend to have a lot of hate for other people. Like they just, they have a lot of negativity in their mind and they have a lot of hate for other people. The good influences tend to have a lot of positivity and a lot of love for other people. Now look, this doesn't mean that they're gonna be 100% super loving and super positive all the time every day, right? But for the most part, the overall picture is that they have a more positive, um, greater attitude about life and about other people and they're more loving toward other people. And the other side, the bad influences, this doesn't mean that they're just always 100% negative and down and they hate you and they hate everyone. But it means for the most part that the, the overall picture of them is that they have hate toward other people and they just have a lot of anger and negativity and stuff like that. So again, I mean, seeing like talking about good and bad influences, that's a whole other talk in itself. But the point is, is that even as you learn, even as you learn and grow and get older and spend more time around different kinds of people, you'll, uh, you'll begin to see like who the good influences are, who the bad influences are. But the point is, is that we have a lot of, a lot of just people saying what kind of man you need to be. And if you're not that kind of man, then they hate on you. And then they rip on you and try to shame you. And then they try to put you down and be negative. And it's, it's just kind of mind blowing. A lot of the, uh, a lot of the people who say they're good influences and a lot of people that say like they're here to help other people. Yet they're so negative toward like, everyone like you don't ever see them really trying to help other people you just see them more picking on people and then I don't know it just blows my mind but the point is is that we have a lot of influence saying that you need to be this kind of man and you gotta be this kind of man otherwise otherwise you're negative and you suck and you're a loser and you screw up <laughs> and it, it just uh it's just mind-blowing point is you want to know what kind of man you should be your own man that's the kind of man you should be be your own man be your own man, regardless of what other people say or think, or the way they speak about you, or the way they act towards you. Forget other people, forget anyone's even on this earth right, right now. I want you to just clear your mind of anyone that's on this earth right now. If there's people around you, I want you to go into like a room alone, to where you hear no one, and it genuinely seems like no one's on this earth right now, and it's just you. What kind of man do you want to be? What kind of man are you meant to be? What kind of man do you see yourself being in the future? Don't just answer that right away. Take some time, even take days, weeks, months. It's all right, man. Take some time to figure it out. Take some time to figure it out for yourself. And when you've figured out that true answer, then go and be that man. But keep in mind that when changes come upon in life, you might change the kind of man that you want to become just a little bit. You might change it just a little bit. And that's all right. It's all right to change and grow as uh, time goes on. Just don't go from like, just don't go from being a good person to a bad person. That's all I gotta say. Don't go from being a loving person to a hateful person. And I'll tell you what, man. There's um, there's a lot of men out there that are telling you, be this kind of man and be this kind of man. And if you're not, then, then screw off and screw you. And it's just like, some of these people, or even people who like believe in God and they love God, yet you'll, yet some people that some of these people that do love God and like talk about God, if if they see someone that's not the kind of man they want to be, even if they believe in God, they'll like attack them. Like you see like like these brothers in Christ, right? You'll see them like attacking each other and ripping on each other and stuff. And it just uh, kind of blows my mind a little bit. Look, I'm not saying that we can't have our opinions. I'm not saying we can't criticize, constructively criticize. I'm not saying that we can't think realistically or be realistic, but there's people out there that just want to pick on everyone and like think that they're the best. And they may use like God as an excuse. Oh, I believe in God, so I'm better than you. 
they might use their work as an excuse. Oh, I make more money than you, so I'm better than you. Like their, their job titles and stuff. They might use their own confidence. Oh, you know, I'm clearly better. Like I'm more confident. You're just a, like a little nerd. Dude, our goal as men is to help other people. We want to help other people. We're not here to put each other down. We're here to lift each other up. So just um, just remember Jesus' first and greatest commandment is just to be loving toward other people. And remember that Jesus, he, uh, he spent time with sinners, right? He didn't revolve his life around them. He didn't let those sinners influence him and make him sin. But he spent time with sinners, and he, um, he did what he could to lift them up and to help them. And to spread lessons on to other people and to talk to other people about being good. And that's just it, bro. So yeah, I'm going to sit here and tell you, be your own man, absolutely. But don't forget to be loving. Don't forget to help other people and to lift other people up and not put other people down. Don't forget to have a more positive energy and a more loving attitude toward people. Just don't forget like those things, right? Be your own man, but definitely include those qualities into the kind of man that you're going to be. Because I'll tell you what, bro, that, uh, that kind of stuff does make a true man. And so, to summarize things here, one of the greatest qualities that you could have as a man, one of the things that will make you the greatest man is being your own man. What kind of man do you want to be? Take some time to think about it, and when you decide, then start being that man. Start growing and developing and bettering yourself each and every day to be that kind of man. And better yourself each and every day for the rest of your life until you pass. Keep bettering yourself and keep becoming a better version of the man that you want to be. And don't let the influence of the outside world influence you in a bad way. Don't let other pe don't let other people get in your head. Don't let other like if other people are gonna laugh at you or put you down or make mean comments, just forget about them. Tune out the noise. Keep the good influences around. Get rid of the bad influences. But even as for those bad influences, don't listen to them when they try to shame you or put you down or tell you who you should be or tell you that you're a loser and they try to cancel you and they try to screw you over. Like, just don't just don't listen to them. Tune out the noise. And it can be hard, especially if you have it around you, but the more you practice tuning out the noise, the better you'll get at it. It's how anything works in life. You practice something more, you just get better at it. Practice makes progress. Um, so really choose the kind of influences that you're gonna have in your life because the kind of influences you have in your life will also determine the kind of man that you're gonna become. And so if you're saying that I wanna become this kind of man, then find other then find other men who have become the kind of man that you wanna be and let, let them be influences in your life. And also don't forget, always let God be an influence in your life. Always let him, you know, let him be the like the ultimate leader and the, um, your ultimate teacher, your, your number one, your first and foremost. But again, as for other people, just choose. Who are you going to let influence you? What kind of man do you want to become? Okay, I want to become this kind of man. And find other men who are an example of the kind of man that you want to become and let them influence you. And lastly, there are, quali there are qualities that every man should have. Um, and I know I'm telling you to be your own man, but don't forget to include these qualities of just being loving, being helpful to other people, lifting others up and not putting other people down, and having like a more positive energy and mindset in wherever you go and whatever you do. Being your own man, it means choosing where you want to live, choosing who you want to become, choosing what kind of work you want to do in the future, choosing if you want to have a family or be like a lone wolf, choosing, um, choosing the kind of friends you want to have around you, choosing the kind of enemies that you're going to have. It means making decisions for yourself without the influence of other people. Or if there is influence of other people, then they're good influences who are going to have a positive effect on your life. But, but overall, even with those influences there, that doesn't mean you have to be them. Just because those influences are there doesn't mean you have to be them. You can still be your own man. But take the good qualities from the good influences and make them as part of the man that you're going to become. But overall, you can make decisions for yourself. You can live the kind of life that you want to live. You can live where you want to live. You can live how you want to live. You can do whatever kind of work you want to do. You can uh, raise whatever kind of family you want to raise. You can um, date whatever kind of girls you want to date. It's all up to you, bro. It's all up to you and your life. And so don't forget, too, is that you're going to make mistakes and you're going to screw up. 
and that's just how life goes. But you can either choose to learn from those mistakes and learn from the mistakes of others, or you can choose to just keep making the same mistake and uh, just not learning from it, which I don't see the point of that, but it's your choice. That's how life works. Every, everything's your choice. Um, so don't forget that too, because we're all gonna screw up and make mistakes. That's how life works. That's how us men work. We're all gonna screw up and make mistakes. But you can either choose, are you gonna bounce back from those mistakes and learn from them and use those mistakes to better you and better the kind of man that you wanna become? Or are you gonna let those mistakes keep happening and then make you a bad version of the man that you wanna become? It's all up to you, bro. That's it. You wanna, you wanna be the greatest man you could be? Then be your own man. And don't let anyone or anyone tell you what to do or how to live your life or the kind of person that you're gonna be or where you're gonna live or the kind of people that you should have around. Don't let anyone or any, don't let anything or anyone tell you who you're meant to be besides God and the good influences that overall is your choice to have those good influences or not. That's it. That's the talk. I'm done rambling. All right. Just be your own man. And that's it. Let's go work out. The year is 1991. Birds and people are living together in seemingly perfect harmony. Until one day, a young man catches fire. This is Phoenix. Like a phoenix, you burst in
All right, that's it for today. Don't forget to work hard and have faith every day, no matter what, and always take care of yourself. Much love to you.